Hey up everybody, MacPan99 Zero One here, bringing you another Battlefield 1 video, and in this video we're going to go into the details of the Spring Patch. Now I've done a video previously and I skated around some of the changes that are going to come about in the Spring Patch, or Spring Update, whatever you want to call it, but I didn't go too in-depth because at the time there wasn't a great deal of detail, but there is now a lot more out there, so I'm going to bring you some of that in this video, what I think are the main points from this patch. And yeah, let's get into it. So first off, if you use the rent a server service that Battlefield provide, you will now be able to apply a password to your server. This is a good bonus for people that like to have a private match, want to maybe do some clan play or maybe do a little tournament, things like that. Or you want to, if you're a content creator like me and you want to film a certain um, situation or something like that, then you're now going to be able to put a password on and just stop any old Joe blogs turning up and ruining it for you. One of the downsides to this at the moment is that you still need six people to start a match, which is a bit ridiculous really. It should be a lot less, maybe two or even just one. Hopefully that'll be something that DICE look at and change in the very near future. You will also have the ability to have multiple admins on your server as well. Next up, we've got platoons are back. I did go into this in the previous video. These are some that was missing when Battlefield 1 launched. It's something that's been in the previous games and people missed it. It's now going to be coming in this patch. I'm not going to go too in depth in this because there's quite a lot of reading on it to be uh, fair. But one of the cool, cool things about it is if you capture a flag and it's the majority of your platoon that do it, your, the captured flag will now display your emblem of your platoon on the flag, which I think is quite a nice touch. Next up, there's some changes to the revive mechanics within the game. At the moment, if you want it to be revived, once you die, you look down in the bottom left corner and you can see how far away the nearest medics are. And you basically just got to wait and hope that one of them comes over and revives you. Now you usually wait and you see the counter tick down where the meters are as they get closer and closer. But we've all experienced it when they get that close and then they just run past you. Or they get taken out just before they get to you, which can be very annoying. So what they're doing now is when a medic sees that a person has died, they're able to press Q, spot that person. And that person will then know that that medic has chosen them to be revived so you're basically getting confirmation that somebody is coming specifically for you to revive you this has been something that's been on the CTE server for a while and it works really well so that'll be a good addition there's going to be four new level 10 weapons in the game I think it's one for each class these are going to be unlocked via completing in-game assignments which was the same as the new weapons that came about when the shall not pass DLC was dropped we've got the hell regal 1915 defensive the Sebs Leder 19 6 sniper, the Martini Henry sniper and the Hoyt automatic optical. There's going to be 19 new ribbons to be obtained within the game and these will be obtained via doing team based actions within the game. Dropping ammo for your team, revives, medkits, such and such. There's also going to be 5 new dog tags to acquire, Answers HQ, Battlefest April, play to give, Prost and Sakura. Now with this update there's going to be plenty of tweaks within the game so there's way more than what I could go into in this video. I could sit here and talk for hours and hours over the actual tweaks that are going to take place. One of them is going to be the bayonet charge that is going to be tweaked to make it a little bit fairer and to be used more in the correct fashion. At the moment it can be used quite close range to people which is wasn't you know it wasn't the intent for that kind of action. You was meant to run from a fair distance and bayonet charge somebody basically but some people are able to activate it when they're stood very close and it's annoying. The front lines matches will be limited to 40 minutes per match. Now there's a bug on it currently which allows matches just to run and run. I myself have been in a couple that have lasted over an hour and a half. Now that to me is not so much of a big problem. I do enjoy playing it. You accrue a massive amount of points by playing it like that but it can get a bit tedious when it just keeps going on and on. Sometimes it's fun but other times you just want it to get over over and move on to the next one. Next up we've got weapon damage versus planes. Now at the moment I do think that the planes are quite overpowered but they're about to get nerfed quite a bit. Basically infantry will now stand a chance. If, for instance if there's a gang of you you're going to be able to cause a lot more damage to a plane than you could previously. This is going to give infantry more of a chance against the planes because I do think that it's quite limited right now. Planes are pretty able to slaughter complete swathes of players. This will force the uh, 
pilots into being a bit more specific about what they're doing and picking their kills a lot better. Now currently within the game if you fire shots and before they reach their target you are killed. The shots that you fired are then deleted from the game, they don't exist no more. This is going to be changed in this spring update and those shots will continue. So there is a chance that even though you have then died, if those shots hit and kill a person you will actually gain a kill. This is known as kill trades. Now it's something that's not very much liked by a lot of people, it's a controversial thing, but DICE is going to add it into the game and monitor the situation closely. If it becomes too much of a problem I think it will be taken out altogether, but they're going to put it in just to see how it works because let's face it if you fired a gun in real life and then died that bullet's not going anywhere other than the target you fired it at so it's going to be added and we'll see how that one goes map voting is going to be added into the game now i'm not sure if it's going to be on all of the game modes but it is going to be added in this spring update and they've also one that does plague me quite a bit is they fixed an issue with map loading where loading the map would take a lot longer than necessary i for one have experienced this you know map load times have taken three to four minutes before when really they should be taking nowhere near that long apparently that's a bit of a bug and that is now going to be fixed there's also going to be some tweaking and balancing issues sorted out in they shall not pass dlc they've been watching the maps closely looking at which points are easy to take and which ones are hard to take which ones never really get touched and they're gonna basically um, tighten up the nuts and bolts on these maps and try and make it a more fair playing experience for everybody involved all of the resupply times for grenades have all been tweaked so that it's basically lessening the grenade spam that's been going on a little bit just recently so you've now got to wait a little bit longer for that grenade that you need and grenades will no longer resupply unless you are near a supply crate or ammo pack and they've also tightened up the UIs within the game so they will be a lot more responsive they tend to be a little bit sluggish now and again but they've been working on that and it should seem a lot smoother now now there's a wealth of updates tweaks changes and i found a website that's listing them all at the moment it's not official i don't think the official patch notes have been released yet i would expect them to be released very soon but i will link to this website that i have got them from so that you can see the full list now take it all with a pinch of salt because some of these updates won't make it into the spring update i think some will move over into the may one but after this spring update we go to monthly updates so whatever doesn't make it in this one i think will shortly follow in the next one which will be around the end of next month it's not known the date for this spring patch being applied i think it will be soon though as it's currently under certification for ps4 and xbox one and once it's got that certification it will most likely go live within a few days so i would expect to see it possibly by the end of this month but if not then we'll probably see it within the coming weeks at least and that's pretty much all i've got for you today folks um lots of changes coming to battlefield one it's looking like they're trying to make this a very very tidy tight you know cutting out all the crap within the game and making it a lot of a better experience for us the players let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and yeah thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one take care